So the third study is uh, to identify the environmental determinants for type 1 diabetes. And we start from uh, identifying uh, children, actually uh, uh, newborns, uh, who have the high risk genes for the development of type 1 diabetes. So uh, the goal of the study is really to see how uh, the high risk genes interact with various environmental factors uh, to determine whether someone is protected uh, against the disease or is more susceptible to develop the disease. So we're looking at various what we call the environmental triggers, anything that might have something to do with the development of the disease. So, so basically, uh, among these uh, 9,000 uh, what we call high risk children, uh, about 5% of them will develop type 1 diabetes uh, over the next 15 years. And so you compare uh, the environmental factors in this 5% of children that will have developed uh, type 1 diabetes versus the 95% of them who will not develop uh, the disease. And by looking uh, at the comparison, you were able to uh, figure out uh, what factors are associated with the progression of the disease. Uh, we should be able to understand how the infection in the high-risk children can trigger the molecular and the cellular uh, processes, and then we can intervene in these processes and to prevent the disease. And we uh, hope and, uh, that uh, it will be successful. And if it is, then we are uh, should be able to advance uh, our uh, goal to find a cure for type 1 diabetes.